All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and I wanted to show you guys a new body I got in for the Get My Drift video series. That's a series about my HPI Sprint 2 that I have kind of converted into a halfway decent drift car. So uh, this is a body made by Matrix Line. I ordered it from Asia Tees. I got here pretty quick. It was actually on backwater when I originally ordered it, uh, but Asia Tees was able to send out uh, the parts that were available uh, immediately out to me, and then this thing arrived just about a week later. So uh, pretty cool. Um, I mean, considering it's coming all the way from China, uh, these things are coming pretty quick, actually. So um, I... Got this thing in the other day. I took a sneak peek at it, and then I started actually researching uh, the origins of this particular uh, race body. Uh, this is a Honda HSV body, and it is a sponsored body by Ray Brig. Not exactly sure what Ray Brig is, but it looked damn cool in the pictures when I was ordering this thing. So uh, definitely has a blue and silver scheme to it, which I definitely like. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Let's see how it fits on the HPI Sprint 2 Get My Drift car, and we'll kind of go from there. So um, actually came in a very nice box. Uh, you know, I get criticized for uh, commenting on the boxes, but considering this thing traveled thousands of miles... It's very nice that it didn't come in just a plastic bag, which you'll see a lot of uh, different body makers ship their their bodies in. So it's kind of cool that it came in this box. This was actually in another box uh, that was sent to me uh, from Asia T. So there's some other parts in that uh, box as well uh, that I'll go over in a different video. So I wanted to kind of give this one one body its own video out there. So um, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Kind of cool that it came in its own little uh, shipping box. So I've already cut it open and I've already actually looked at it, but I wanted to show you you guys just how it looks. So kind of has this little foam protector right here, which is nice. Go ahead and pull this thing out and let's pull the body out. Just kind of housed in this little body in there. There's a uh, kind of a little Asia T's little card in there and then some stickers and whatnot um, on that side. And there's the body. This thing is super cool. I, I really dig this body. It, uh, I'm actually going to put a link to um, the actual one-to-one -one version of this body um, in the video description. So definitely take a chance to look at that. I actually got my receipt right there and more stickers, some three racing stickers right there. So pretty cool. So there's the body. I mean, this thing is very, very nice. Now, this is not a painted body. It's actually a screen printed body from the underside. And I'll show you guys here what that will kind of look like. You'll see um, it's printed from the inside out, it looks like, and it's not exactly painted. So um, it is a computer, um, looks like computer drawn on there. So, but nonetheless, I mean, very cool body. Um, I, I definitely like the paint scheme of it, that dark blue that silver kind of stripe kind of going through it um, has all of the official Ray Brig um, sponsors on there, Mobile One, Bridgestone, um, lots of other names that I can't really pronounce, uh, but, but pretty cool here. has the Honda logo on the outside right here, and we'll kind of take a look at that. Ray Brig as well. Those are actually light buckets that are already pre-installed in the car, so you can just basically cut your holes and do your LED lights all in there. Other side here, you do get uh, mirrors on there. They're just basically double-sided stuck on there. and actually has mirror tape on the one side. Hopefully we can see that in there. There we go. So on the sides here, uh, what's really cool here is you'll see that there's actually a tinted window. And I'll show you guys what that'll look like here in a second. It's actually separate from the car, so it's actually... A window piece that's in there. So all the other badging, you got your gas filler right there, which I've learned from another car. Um, onto the back side here, you have this kind of um, kind of kick up right here. It's very reminiscent of some Adidas shoes I have, some uh, trail running shoes. And then of course the wing right here, and it's also elevated up with some plastic pieces, all bolted in, all nice and neat. Back side here, you also have the light buckets. And those are already set for LED lights, so you just have to put your own LED lights in. On the back side here, and onto the other side, so very, very nice. 
You have kind of all the, the louvered top right here, which is all basically just decals. On the underside here, let's take a look at that. Lots of tape in here, so you're going to see uh, the light buckets are all taped in with double-sided tape and also some foil tape there. Same thing on the other side. And then this whole piece right here is, it looks like it's a separate piece. It's actually glued in and then also foil taped. And that is the uh, tinted windows. It looks like they, uh, you know, window tint um, another piece and kind of put that inside there. And there you can see the back uh, taping for the light buckets. So pretty cool. I can't wait to kind of get this thing uh, mounted up onto my Sprint 2 project. It is a, definitely a, a cool thing that you can just kind of pull it out of a box and it is ready to go. No painting required. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Sprint 2 right here. I'm going to leave it on the stand so, you know, of course the, the ride height won't be very good. So let's go ahead and drop this thing on here. I just got some generic black wheels. Ah, it fits on there very, very nice. This is a 190 millimeter uh, width body. So uh, once I get the uh, the posts adjusted and everything else, it should look pretty good. So let me get it off the stand here so you guys can see the full picture without having to move you guys in camera land. So, but uh, pretty nice once I get all of the body mounts adjusted and I may go to a different type of uh, body mount as well. So we'll see how that turns out. But uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little installment of the Get My Drift video series. I'm definitely having fun with this thing. I can't wait to get this body mounted and uh, shoot some uh, running video of this thing. So uh, stay tuned. I have more updates in the series. I can't wait to shoot those. So that's it for now, guys. Any comments, questions, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.